All right, now we're doing 8Q Name on Billboard. This is by Val Alex Eve, and 89% of the people like it. We can print our name on a billboard ad. Find out how much it will cost us. Each letter has a default price of 30 uh, I guess pounds, okay? But that can be different if you are given two parameters instead of one. You cannot use the multiplier operator. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where uh, that's where the trick is right there, isn't it? So if your name would be uh, Jong Ho Aristotelis, the ad would be would cost uh, six hundred pounds, twenty letters times thirty uh, characters equals six hundred. Space counts as a letter. All right. Let's knock this out. So on this one, we're going to be using uh, quite a few things for an 8Q uh, kata. But, you know, it's what we got to do. <clears throat> there might be another way, but I, I don't know it. Uh, but first things first, we need to make an array. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make an array uh, of that's the length of the characters and then we're going to multiply each one of those excuse me we're going to fill each one of those uh, elements in the array with the price per letter and then we're going to sum the whole array that's that's the way I thought of at least uh, so first off let's make the array so let's make the Brackets right there. Spread operator. Pardon me. So the spread syntax allows an iterable, such as an array expression or a string, to be expanded in place in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected. All right. So it's just going to make something into an array. And then we're also going to use the array constructor, and it's used to create array objects. Right. And to make a new one, let me show you. To make a new one, we have to do this. We have to do new array and then whatever is in the array, right? So that's what we're doing. We're saying new, and then we're going to say array. And inside that array, we need to make something. Oh, let me show you. The syntax of it is array length right here. There's more, but this one's the one we're going to use. So I'm going to say... Array length, which we want it to be uh, name dot length. All right. And then after that, we want to fill this in, fill each one of those, uh, each one of those elements in with the price. So to do that, we're going to use this fill right here. The fill method changes all elements in array to a static value from a start index to an end index. All right. So what I'm going to do is dot fill, and we're going to say price, all right? And then after that, we're going to use this reduce here, which is the method that executes a user-supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value, which is what we're going to be looking for. All right, and here's the syntax. We're going to be using uh, previous value plus current value because this will explain to you that uh, if you don't set an initial value, it's just going to take whatever's in that first. It's going to take whatever's in that first uh, element as the initial value. All right. So that being said, we're going to say dot reduce. Reduce. All right. And then inside of there, we're going to say previous and current. And then we're going to make an arrow function. And we're going to say previous plus current. All right. So it's going to send. Uh, this is going to be the, the first one. The, the previous one is going, to be the, is going to be the first one. So in this one, it's going to be J. And then the current is going to be E. And then it's just going to add J, E to O. O and then J E O to N, but you know it's also it's going to be the price. 
hopefully you get what I'm saying. But if you don't get that, uh, read up on it, and it'll definitely help you. Hopefully this works. Let's see. All right, cool, awesome. Up, up, up. What's this? What's wrong? Reduce. No additional value. Okay. Well, then let's make this. Let's give it an initial value of zero. How about that? I was pulling your chain, I guess. Uh, attempt it. Great. Awesome. And we're good. Let's uh, go to my solutions. Just me. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.